Hi everyone, it's Bishop Moriam, but you can call me Phoenix from the Awakening of Phoenix, Living with Disability Healing LLC and Alcapella Awakening and Dinner, Time to Heal here on YouTube and Facebook. Now today, I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> I'm inviting you to spend the day with me. I have to do something with this hair. <laughs> but you guys, this is not gonna be just a regular hair routine. This is something that I've been using that has really been making a huge difference besides the Cherry Lola treatment. Check out that video. But this, you guys, you're going to thank me later. You are going to thank me. <laughs> Your hair is going to thank you. <laughs> Your time, the time that it takes to do this, you're going to just think, you're going you're gonna to love this routine, okay? And I also have this delicious meal for dinner, time to heal here on YouTube and Facebook. It is part of my series called Thanksgiving and Christmas Dinner Alternatives. Guys, this one is going to be delicious, but I've had three meals made already. <laughs> oh, four. Of course, I have some inspiration, empowerment. Mm, well, maybe I just, maybe. Mm -mm. Girl, no, I got to do something with this. <laughs> All right, so the very first thing that I got to do is clean my kitchen up a little bit. As you can see, I got some dishes in the sink, guys. <laughs> got dishes. This I can't do. I can't work like that. It doesn't look extremely messy, but holler at me in the comment box if you're like me. Like, people will come to your house and they'll say, oh, it looks great. And you're just like, I don't want to come to your house. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. If you think this looks good and this is not messy, honey, I don't want to see what you're comfortable with. <laughs> is there no CD? I don't know. <laughs> I got to do my dishes. <laughs> now, in order to make our hair solution, the first thing we want to do is boil some water. So while we are waiting for our water to boil, <laughs> This is what we're going to put in our bottle. This is how we're going to make our leave-in. And it's so lightweight. It's inexpensive. The ingredients you can use for other things. <laughs> in fact, you can pretty much find all of the ingredients in your kitchen. You don't got to go to the grocery store and buy the hair product. My friends, you can make it. You can make it yourself. You need a bottle <laughs> and some extra virgin olive oil. You can also use coconut oil. Um, both of those are what I tend to use most because it, it increases absorption. So my hair is gonna get all of the nutrients and everything that I'm trying to put in it. And the moisture and hydration will stay and absorb and do its thing. The next thing, whole clothes. Yes, organic clothes. Let's take a look and see what these bad boys look like. I'm just gonna take a few out. Mm. They have this real intense kind of cinnamony smell. Oh my gosh, you guys. This scent, the aroma of cloves, really brings in the season. This is what's stuck inside of the ham for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. <laughs> this is it. This is what? This is nature's, one of nature's most strongest and powerful antibiotics right here right here okay this is it this is perfect for colds it's perfect for the flu it has been shown to make significant difference in people with COVID, and it is good for your scalp <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and prepare my teacup and put in my cloves so that they can steep and get strong and I can t make use of all of its benefits. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour in at least four tablespoons of olive oil. Fenugreek is powerful, so just a little pinch. If you have an allergy or you are protein sensitive, you might not wanna put the fenugreek in. <laughs> just telling you right now, instead of fenugreek, a good source of hair protein is coconut. Um, if you have low porosity hair, you don't really want to put in a whole lot of coconut oil because coconut oil is one of those things that becomes solid when the room temperature cools. 
So what it's going to do is do the same thing on your hair. You're going to get headaches. How many of you guys get headaches with rubber bands or hair products? If you do, you probably are suffering from or living with and suffering from low porosity hair. <laughs> so those are the symptoms and you want to you want to pay attention to that because if you do have if, if you are protein sensitive, you don't want to use the products that's going to cause sensitivity to your hair. Okay? It's all about finding what works best for you. Let us continue, shall we? <laughs> Bless you all. It's dinner time to heal. From the Awakening Phoenix, Living with Disability Healing, Rising Young Mice, which is all, it's just number two in my series called Well, I was about to wash my hair, <laughs> but I got to take a little nap. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's okay if you're living with disability. You got to stop being hard on yourself. That's what I learned. <laughs> that I had to give myself the permission instead of looking for someone else to. And that it's okay. It's all right. If I don't do anything for the day, I'm disabled. <laughs> so if you are in that state as well, just stop being hard on yourself. It's not necessary. It is okay. It's okay to do nothing. It's okay if you need to lay down and take a nap. <laughs> it doesn't make you old. It makes you someone that needs to lay down and take a nap. Lay down and take a nap. With my process with my healing process and what my diagnoses I need to nap I have fatigue that is outrageous and unbelievably crippling and hard and disabling and that's what I live with um so it's not always in my control it's not always about triggers <laughs> it's just the way that it is and mindfulness you need to have mindfulness with this positivity and mercy for yourself the same mercy and love that you give someone else, you got to give it to you. I got to lay down. <laughs> So I am completely refreshed. <laughs> I had a really good nap and some really good dreams. I dream in color. I've never dreamt in black and white. And just recently I learned that people dream in black and white. Holler in the comment box, let me know how do you dream. <laughs> but this has been sitting as I took a nap. I took a nap for about 35 minutes and I did some editing. And so it's been sitting here for a minute. <laughs> it is strong and I'm strong. <laughs> I can go wash my hair. So I want all of the oil and the fenugreek and the clove water to immerse with each other and really, really get strong. So it's gonna work really well with the heat and water and hydration that my hair is taken in from my shower and wash. And I'm gonna show you how to apply it and what to do if you do have low porosity to make sure that it does absorb well. And you just wanna pretty much fill it almost all the way up. See, it's kind of to about right here. I don't know if you can see that. Then you just put your top on. Okay. <laughs> and you give it a good shake. Just kind of roll it around in there. <laughs> shake it really good. Get some of the air out. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of let this sit for a minute while I go wash my hair. All right. So here we are in the shower. I just really let the water immersed in my hair. Since I have low porosity, that's what I have to do to it. <laughs> yes, I do do. <laughs> people don't realize how much of a struggle it is for people who are living with dysautonomia, like pot syndrome or facial vagal syncope. A warm shower can make you pass out. As you notice, there's no steam. This shower is cold, you guys. <laughs> My friends, these videos are not sponsored, but as you keep seeing, I use Maori Moisture Hair Care products. I love them. It's so natural. This one's shea butter, and it's so healing. It has natural products like aloe vera as the very first ingredient listed. You have to try it.
That tea is good. <laughs> mm. What goes in my hair can't go into my body. <laughs> so I'm drinking the clover tea. And it kind of has, depending on how strong you make it, it kind of has like this kind of numbing effect. Um, it's an antibiotic and it's strong. Mm. It tastes really good. But originally they would put it in foods like pork because of its, you know, parasites and worms. Um, if you've ever taken a piece of meat, put it in a mason jar, whether it be chicken, pork, or fish, leave it in there for a week. And you just watch and see how many things are living in that meat. <laughs> so it's a great source to kill some of those things off. But, you know, if you're using DIY products like mayonnaise and um, mayonnaise and egg for a protein treatment or um, yogurt and um, the soy product um, for like the cherry lola treatment, then you need something that's going to kill off those bacteria that can build up, especially if you have low porosity hair. My friends, this is going to do it. <laughs> so I have our spray here and we're just going to, I'm just going to section my hair off and I'm going to spray this and make sure that it really is penetrating and my hair follicles are absorbing and it's okay if some of it falls on my scalp, right? But we're not going to spray it directly on the scalp. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off. You don't need to comb your hair. Don't do too much. <laughs> Sometimes you want to do be extra and it's okay, but know where that is. I'm going to go ahead and leave my hair parted on the side. <laughs> I was going to leave it on the middle, but I'm going to change my mind there and just kind of shake it. There's no need for you to tear into a part, <laughs> right? Don't tear into your part. Don't tear into your part. <laughs> and I'm going to, go ahead and start with the lower side first and just kind of section it off. See? If you have like low density, low porosity, thin, low density hair, you don't need to comb to part. You don't need to use a cute to go home to part your hair. <laughs> so we have a small section here. Eh, it's kind of a medium section. <laughs> and see, just going to take our spray bottle, give it another little shake and just get it going. Okay. And spray. Making sure that I saturate my hair here. Okay. Pull my ends in my hair and just spray it. And then we're just going to work it into my hair. And this is mostly just olive oil, a little bit of fenugreek, and our clove tea. You're more than welcome to add some green tea. That really will help as well. So I just kind of run my fingers through it and then help it absorb with praying hands. You wanna make sure you're going all the way from the root to the tips. It's just like that. One more, and then I just go around, making sure that it's in my hair. And you kind of want to feel and see, do I have enough oil in there? Because <laughs> if you don't have enough oil, it's not going to work well. So I just kind of take it one more time. I want to get out some of the excess water. This is next. Okay. Kinky curly. Good stuff here. Not much. Okay. Not much. Just rub it into my hands just like this. And then get it onto my hair. And just kind of section that section off. Help it absorb. The praying hands method. Tried and true, my friends. It works. <laughs> it helps the product get into the follicles of your hair and your hairstyle last longer. I truly believe that I've had such success with my growth after I learned how to be gentle with myself, with my hair. And being gentle with my hair actually taught me how to be gentle with myself. I didn't even see, I didn't see how 
hard I was being on myself, how rough to take things in my life and grab it, hold on to it like this. And okay, now you're going to do that. You know, that's what, that's what I would do to it. But then I realized, no, I need to be more gentle. So we got this going. Okay. You want to take your time, and get it into your hair. <laughs> and once that's done, we're just going to take this section. Okay. And kind of turn it into two sections <laughs> and twist. Really loose twist here. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my entire head and I'll be right back. Okay, just real quick, I just wanna say, <laughs> this is a water bottle, so it could get clogged with the oil. If it does, just get yourself a little cup of water, put your spray bottle in there, <laughs> and put your hand in the way and it will get unclogged. <laughs> Just as simple as that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish my hair. <laughs> Woo! It's done. Put the bottle in the refrigerator. When you want to use it again, simply place it in a bowl of hot water. Let it sit for a minute to warm the water back up. Give it a good shake and you can use it for another coat or you can use it to refresh. It will last in your refrigerator for two to three weeks. All right, I am done with my hair and now I'm gonna cook you something for a Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner alternative. You guys, I know the tradition is turkey. My aunt used to make a turkey dinner with all the fixings, ham, turkey, dressing, string bean casserole, potato salad, macaroni and cheese, some collard greens, cornbread, dinner rolls, sweet potato pie, apple pie, literally, literally every other Sunday. <laughs> I grew up in a black household and that's just how we used to do it, <laughs> especially here in the Midwest of Cincinnati, Ohio. So really a turkey dinner is Sunday dinner. <laughs> So having alternatives is just our thing. <laughs> I have plenty of them and this one you will love. Let's get started. I have here one sweet onion. I went ahead and peeled it and I'm cutting it into small dices. And it's about a fourth cup. You can use more if you like, but I'm not a fan of onions and my salsa. And that's what I'm making. As you can see next, I have here some delicious cherub tomatoes. You guys, if you haven't tried these, they're so incredibly sweet. <laughs> I just go ahead and slice them in half and then cut them in long ways right after I clean them thoroughly. Here we have our tomatoes and onions. Next up is an optional jalapeno pepper. You can use red pepper flakes or a couple of dashes of cayenne pepper, but I like the texture and there's a certain sweetness that jalapenos bring to a dish. Next up, I have here this beautiful green cilantro. You want to clean it. I don't like the grittiness taste, isn't it so fluffy and beautiful? Just chop it up. But remember, if you chop it up too small, you won't get any big pieces. I like it chunky. <laughs> and when you add in stuff like this lime, it's going to break it down and kind of wither those leaves. I cut up a half of an avocado. My little hack for taking out is the big old seed cut it up and scoop it out and put it inside of your bowl with the rest of the ingredients and one tablespoon with a little more lime juice, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and one tablespoon of grade A dark maple syrup. I kid you not. Look at this. Just look at it. It's so good. <laughs> Next up, you're going to just go ahead and take a can of black beans and pinto beans or whatever beans that you love the most. <laughs> you want to rinse it out and get rid of all of that extra sodium and toxic chemicals from the manufacturing companies, you know, packaged foods. 
put it on your stove and let it cook down with some salt, pepper, paprika, cinnamon, and my goodness, a little bit of cumin and lime juice. As you see here, I cut up a whole pack of chicken thigh and I'm using carne asada. You guys, you're not going to get any more flavor than it with carne asada. Oh my goodness. I added just a little bit of salt and pepper and a little more paprika because that's how I love it. In the pot it goes. And we're just going to go ahead and cook it slowly because we don't want it to be rubbery. I have here one of my favorite type of greens, green leaf lettuce. When you cut it, it looks so fluffy. Look at that, how it just fluffs up. So pretty, the color. And then go ahead and get into the pot some ground beef. I have here, you guys, two pounds. My chicken is done. I'm going to go ahead and drain the beef. Who likes greasy meat? I'm telling you, honey, I do not. My body doesn't like it. It makes me pay for it the next day. <laughs> And it's time to plate all of these wondrous ingredients can make so many types of a dishes. The sky's the limit here. When you have a fiesta, this is the best Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner alternative. It's cheap, very inexpensive, completely flavorful. It's familiar, so it's comforting. It's healthy. It's delicious, my friends. It's decadent. This is a meal that your family will love you for. A different tradition to start. You can make your own homemade chipotle bowl. Look at this salsa, you guys. Isn't that, does that look so good? It's so chunky. I love it. It's chunky. <laughs> And this is my burrito. I put chicken in it, as you can see. Two types of beans. Easy to make, easy to clean up. It's healthy. It's delicious, my friends. It's decadent. Happy holidays. Well, my sisters and brothers, I didn't sleep that well last night, so I have dark sorrows under my eyes, but I am grateful to still be woke. All right, it's time for me to take my hair down. <laughs> so, there goes the rubber band. <laughs> so, as you can see... It's shrunk quite considerably. It's really flat. <laughs> um, but this is day one with it. I really tamed my hair, which I don't, I'm not really one of those girls who <laughs> requires my hair to get tamed. <laughs> These are the results, my friends. <laughs> this is it. I really, really love. I'm just going to come up close here. I don't know if you can see good or not. I like the curls. Okay, so the longer, the longer I stay in it, <laughs> the more it starts to be more like what I'm used to. But it's not as fluffy. So yeah, this is day one with the clove tea and olive oil with a dash of fenugreek. <laughs> All right, well, remember who you are. Do I have to remind you? <laughs> You're a child of God. You are my brother and sister. You are worth it. You are worthy. You are enough. Why? Because you're God's child. God bless you. I typically put my hair up. <laughs> you want to not have your ends touching the fabric because it just rubs and then you get split ends, dry, brittle ends, and too much manipulation to your hair prevents growth. So I go ahead and put it up. I love these things, you guys. It keeps your hair loose. The air is still circulating in there. <laughs> and it's off of your neck. It's very professional looking. It's simple. There's no fuss with it. You just take it and throw your hair up. I love it. So, yeah. Psalms 34, 18 says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalms 147.3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So whatever caused your heartbreak, God will repair your wounds. 
Trust in the Lord. Bless you all. Thank you for watching and supporting phoenixhealingministries.org. And as always, it is not just your spirituality that can define your journey. It is your journey that can define your spirituality. Don't ever give up. You're worth it. You're worthy. You're enough. You're God's child. You can do this.